I can't put substance in this game, you know what I'm saying? Basically before that, um, a quote from somebody as famous as uh, Dr. Dre, hip hop is either you talking about the place to be, who you are, or about a sucker MC. Rakim put a new element in fact, you dig what I'm saying? What he did was put some consciousness to it. You know, he definitely put a label of, hold on, let me break the norm. Don't you guys see, there's another option over here. We got choice one, and then you know what? We got choice of two over here. And if you want to use choice three, you can invent that. But what I've done is decided to dedicate my life to the spirituality from this hip hop world that he was created in. Man, spirituality is what Rakim gave us to. We all give Rakim, he the God Allah. The God, Rakim Allah was born William Griffin in Wine Dance, Long Island. When he first began rapping, his original rap name was Kid Wizard. But after that, he learned of an Islamic sect called the 5% Nation of the Gods and Earth. Through them, he learned about the history of black people and their great achievements in science and mathematics. He changed his name to Rakim Allah and began to alter the entire spectrum of hip hop. In 1987, he released an indie single with his DJ, Eric B, called Eric B for President. Albums like Paid in Full, Follow the Leader, and the 18th Letter are still regarded as some of the finest hip hop lyricism to date. Get it on, man. Nah, we're trying to get it on. Word up, word up. Go ahead, drop a jewel. Check it out. I'll hold the mic as hostage. I'm Caesar's ransom. Rhymes are punish him because they don't understand him. I heat up his brain, then explain, then I hand him a red hot microphone. That's how I brand him. Rhymes fall in formation, unite and ignite. Like a platoon putting bullet wounds in the mic. If you curse me, it ain't no mercy. Give him an autopsy, killed by a verse of me. I took a kid and cut off his eyelids. Kill him slow so he can see what I did. And if he don't understand what I said, I'm pushing his eyeballs way to the back of his head so he can see what he's getting into. A part of the mind that he never been through. The journey is coming because you're getting sent to A place harder to find, but it's all in the mental I run a brain scan to locate his game plan When I'm through with his brain, he ain't the same man Did he lose his mind or loss in his mind? But this ain't the loss and found Because you can't find your foundation Coasting, your mind is drifting In slow motion, frozen Looks like another murder at the Mardi Gras, B too late to send out a search party Once you're out of your head, then you can't get back I give him a map, but he'll still get trapped So prepare the chamber The torch is coming up Trip through the mind At the end is the Punisher You know what I'm saying? Well, um Regardless where you're from You know, it's where you're at You know, like if, if people can't If people, you know, use a crutch as far as You know, they ain't got this or they ain't got that you know, that's, everything else is material, you know what I'm saying? As long as they got their physical form in their mind, whatever they want to happen can happen, you know, and I express that too. Rakim means sun god from the land of the burnt faced people. Ra means sun god. Kim is another word for Egypt, you know, and it's, it means the land of the burnt faced people. Well, my mother, she used to sing on the radio back in Brooklyn, you know. My brother played the piano, my sister sing, my other brother played the sax and piano. I played the sax and drums, you know, so it's like, it helps me a lot when, you know, I sit down and write rhymes. I know different musical backgrounds and things of that nature. And um, it just, you know, put me that much deeper into it. You know? I got into the Islam, the nation of Islam in 1986. You know, what inspired me is, you know, I was at the point where I needed something to, you know, uplift my world as far as, you know, I had to go to the next level. I'm saying I was tired of running in the streets, you know, I just needed something, you know, to uh, give me a little more self-esteem. And that's what it did. And I'm the type of brother, I can't really, I couldn't keep a job, you know what I'm saying? I work for about two or three weeks, get a check, and I'll move on, you know? So, like I said, at that point, I needed Islam, you know, slow me down a little bit and um, take life a little more serious, you know? Once you deal with the mental, you know what I'm saying, and everything else speaks for itself, once you tell somebody, you know, how powerful their mind is, and they think about it, then they start to utilize it, you know what I'm saying? Then they realize, you know, man, I can do this. I ain't got to ask, you know, I ain't got to put my hands together and look up and ask nobody for a job. I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna go get a job or do what I gotta do, you know, to make ends meet. I, I concentrate on it all the time, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, what I do when I'm writing, I'm putting down my life, you know what I'm saying? And you know, I don't believe in writer's block, so when I get to the point where you know, I'm getting slow on the ink, I just put the pen down, then I go back out in the world and live. So you know, I'm constantly 
I'm not rhyming, I'm just thinking, you know what I'm saying? So when I get back to the paper, I got more life to put down. I try to keep everything dealing with, you know, reality, you know what I'm saying? Just things that take place. Like I can be riding up a block, you know, you know somebody that's sitting next to me that's riding with me might, you know, think it's just a regular block. But, you know, what I see is like, you know, I see the way a kid is walking up the block and I try to think about what he's thinking about, you know what I'm saying? If I see a kid walking real slow, I can put it in a, you know, rhyme form, you know what I'm saying, his feelings. You know what I'm saying? I can see an area that's like burnt down or whatever. You know what I'm saying? What I try to do is picture life before it burnt down and where the people that were staying there, you know, what happened to them when it got, you know what I'm saying? It's like I try to look through things and, you know, come up with something different. Or I'll be, you know what I'm saying? I'll be cooling. You know, they be bugging on me because I'll be cooling. But um, I don't know, you know, probably the lyrics, you know, people listen to the lyrics and they be saying that, um, you know, I'll be violent. You know, but I use metaphor, you know what I'm saying? If I say I'm going to shoot you in the head, I'm going to shoot you in the head with a, with a rhyme. You know what I'm saying? So some, some people just say, oh, man, you know, your rod's living kind of trifle. You know what I'm saying? But um, I use metaphor. It's like sometimes when you got to express a point, you can't express it no better by saying, you know, you can't say, yo, I'm going to put this rhyme in your head. You know what I'm saying? I say something like, yo, I'm going to pull out and bust you in your head. You know what I'm saying? So it's like let, helping me explain things a little more better. Nah, there's nothing glamorous about being a gangster, you know, because um, it's not really dealing with reality. It's like, you know, trying to be hard and, you know, take territory or whatever you're dealing with. You know, ain't, ain't nothing glamorous about that. That's why I don't really want to be classified as a gangster. But if they classify me as a gangster of rap as far as lyrics, then, you know, be more specific. Just the jewels that I drop, you know, just the knowledge and, um, you know, positive thoughts, you know, something, you know, I try to put messages in there so, you know, each individual can take it home and use it for themselves. I don't, like, when I speak on something, I don't really speak on it as far as me, but if I do say me, it's something that somebody else can relate to and put themselves in, you know, in my shoes or put themselves in the same situation.